Hey guys, I'm bringing you another World War 2 Heroes video. Um, last time I've talked to you guys about Saburo Sakai, which was a Japanese uh, fighter pilot and ace as well, who did a lot of important stuff in the Second World War. And today I'll be talking about someone else. Um, some of you may already know him, some of you may not already know him. Um, his name is Richard Winters, um, Major Richard Winters to be exact, his uh, rank was Major after the war, Second World War of course. Um, some of you may know him because he is one of the most credited soldiers of World War II. He had the Medal of Honor, he had a lot of other um, medals and um, achievements if that's how you want to call it, I'm not sure how to call it. So basically, um, I'm gonna tell you guys what is special about a soldier and why um, why I'm dedicating this video to him. So basically, at um, the beginning of the war, somewhere in 1940, 1941, anything similar to that, um, he joined the army and he got um, into Easy Company. Uh, Easy Company was uh, just a normal uh, military squad um, doing all sorts of missions and operations. And um, he got uh, recruited in Camp Tokoa, uh, which is uh, in Georgia. So um, right there, he went through his training. Um, he uh, got trained to be a military, of course. And then when his training uh, got completed, they got sent out in C-47s towards Normandy. So this like a few months later. Um, it's not 941, by the way, it's later on. And they got sent out in a C-47 toward Normandy. Um, at this day, Operation D-Day was launched and um, Winters uh, was not yet the leader of Easy Company at that time, but the, uh, the current leader was Thomas Meehan. So above Normandy, um, each squad parachuted down in order to take out enemy artillery and anti-air guns. Um, they had to do this because those were bothering the landing or um, those were making the landing harder at D-Day. So they got uh, ordered to take out enemy artillery and anti-air guns, like I've said. Now, during this operation, um, Thomas Meehan died in a crash of a C-47. Um, his C-47 got um, hit by one of the anti-air guns and basically the airplane just exploded in mid-air. And <laughs> there is just no way to survive that. So. Uh, Meehan, Thomas Meehan already died um, before he even was able to parachute down. It's quite a tragic story, um, but I think I, I respect him for trying to um, liberate Europe and I respect all the soldiers who helped in the liberation of Europe. But um, the death of Thomas Meehan automatically meant that um, Richard Winters got the, leading, um, got the lead over um, Easy Squad. Or uh, Easy Company, I mean. So, um, successfully taking out all the targets uh, which they were assigned to, so all the artillery, all the anti-air that they uh, had to take out, um, Winters got his f first promotion already. He also got a medal, um, everyone who helped at the D-Day operation got his medal, it's, um, I'm not sure how it's called, um, but like, not a lot of people have it, a lot of people died at um, during D-Day and to have the medal that's um, dedicated to D-Day, it's just, it's something special, N not a lot of people have that. Um, so after um, after successfully completing that mission, um, Easy Company pushed up through France to uh, push the Germans back and um, they did not push through whole France, just a part of France. Um, because eventually Easy Company got sent out on another much more dangerous mission and this is one of the most anticipated and most iconical missions in the history of World War II. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about what, sh what mission I'm talking about. I'm talking about Operation Market Garden. Basically what this mission is, um, thousands of soldiers, thousands of allies got dropped off above my country, the Netherlands, in order to secure several very important bridges uh, which would enable the allied, allied forces to cross those rivers. Um, those rivers held access to the rest of the Netherlands, some important strategic points and eventually also it would open another front for the Germans. So the Germans, um, the Germans had more uh, sires to defend, which of course is uh, a big disadvantage for the Germans. So um, this mission, Operation Market Garden, 
was not completely successful. Um, they only managed to capture a, a few of the bridges. Uh, several got destroyed as well. And like a lot of people died during this mission because the information was insufficient. So the troops who landed above the Netherlands um, had not enough information to um, actually be able to fully complete the mission. Um, there were more Germans in the area. The Germans were a, a lot more, um, they were a lot more well equipped than they expected. So this mission did not fully serve its purpose, but it still had a big impact on Germans. Um, so um, the biggest part of Easy Company survived um, during um, Operation Market Garden, and they got relocated to the Ardennes, where. Um, where they of course had to fight the Germans, so the Germans were fighting on two fronts right now. They were being attacked from uh, France and from the Netherlands right now at this point, so... Basically they had a hard time in um, the Ardennes. Now, I'm not saying it was easy for the Allied troops, uh, because... Actually it was quite hard for everyone there, it was winter at that time. It was actually one of the coldest winters in a long long time, um, they had... Their clothing was not made for the weather, um, they did not have enough food and the allied force as soon as they wanted their supplies, it got dropped but it got dropped at the wrong location or um, it did not get dropped at all because the supply airplane was taken down or anything or um, the Germans took their supplies. Anyhow the Ardennes it was a mess in there so basically uh, Richard Winters and Easy Company were located in there. And um, they suffered huge loss and it was basically World War 1 all over again. It was just trench battle after trench battle after trench battle. And really there was not much progress in there. So eventually um, Richard Winters came up with the idea to secure several um, very strategic um, villages. Um, so what Easy Company did, they were I think those villages located somewhere near the Ardennes. And um, German artillery and mortars and all sorts of other bad shit was located in there. And they attacked these villages in hope to um, push back the Germans even more and um, have another valuable strategic point. Now, this um, eventually the missions were successful, but um, there were several problems. Um, one of the problems was that the Germans had tanks in these villages and snipers and they were very very well defended so um, the allies had a hard time taking those over and next to that um, artillery was still firing so basically when the allied uh, force rushed into those two villages they just got sprayed with explosives, bullets, whatever it was a hell, Just it was a second hell, it was a hell on earth let's say it like that and it was not fun uh, but I still did manage to take these villages and um, at this time um, Richard Winters um, already got another promotion. He had a high rank and he was um, planning all sorts of missions and operations and tactical plans and stuff. So those are basically some of the most important things they have achieved. Um, eventually they pushed back through um, the Netherlands, um, killing even more Germans and liberating even big parts of Europe. And Richard Winters eventually even got the Medal of Honor, which is the most most valuable medal you can get in the army or in the U.S. Army. Um, not a lot of people have this medal. Like it's only for people who really did very very important and very um, very very imp yeah just very important stuff. Like which requires a lot and a lot of courage and. They risked their lives during that day. Uh, Major Winters did, and it wasn't just one day, it was like month after month after month. And eventually, Richard Winters also got promoted to Major Winters. Um, Major is quite a high rank, and this really shows how um, valuable he was in the army and how good of a soldier he was. And um, in my opinion, Richard Winters and Easy Company were definitely World War II heroes. And um, so this video is pretty much dedicated to them. Now, hopefully this video was interesting for you. I definitely did enjoy doing the research. There's also been a series, Band of Brothers. Um, you can look it up on YouTube or you can just buy the whole series. 
it's basically you're following um, Easy Company in a series and you're seeing um, it, it's basically a, a sort of documentary like it's not really a documentary because it isn't recorded in World War II but it's like um, you see the events they went through, you see what Easy Company went through and the series are based on true stories and it's all about Easy Company so it's pretty much all about what I've talked about during this video. You should definitely go, um, yeah, you should definitely watch Band of Brothers, it's a great series, I definitely recommend you to watch it. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything I want to tell about uh, Easy Company and Richard Winters during this video. Now if there is any other World War II heroes you'd like me to talk about, um, just leave his name behind in the comments or if it's a whole squad or a company. I don't care, just leave his name behind or leave the company behind and I might devote my next video to them. Um, so right now we've had Saber Sky, Richard Winters with Easy Company. Those are all World War II heroes, definitely worth crediting and um, they're great people. So I'm gonna end the episode from here guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Well that's guys, and thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.